in this video I'm going to show you easy day trading strategy that anyone can follow. But before I do that, I gotta show you something else. Bam! Alright guys, Bobby B is in the game. Now, it's gonna be a very short video, it's very very easy to follow day trading strategy. First I'm gonna show you the setup, then I'm going to show you how to pick a coin, right? Because if you just go out there and uh, uh, pick any coin, right, your chances of success are lower. So let's start with the setup guys. Right here it is the setup, we, go, we are going to use the super trend indicator which is free, right? Maybe some of you know about this indicator, some does not. This is a free indicator of trading view, right? And this is how the setup looks like. Now guys, look, many people are just going out there and getting this indicator and uh, by default, the way that it is, they are starting to use it. Of course, I'm not gonna... Uh, let you to do that right because you must always have a what in trading you must always have what guys an edge right you must always have an edge this is a must guys this is not a shoot if you want to succeed in this business so I'm gonna show you how to use the, the, the this indicator with what guys with an edge right okay so this is a setup very simple. Now, I want to start from scratch to show you how to do it. So we're going to uh, get rid of it, right? And we're going to add this indicator. You just go here to indicators and strategies. And by the way, guys, you can use this directly in Binance, right? Now, I don't encourage you to do that. It's better to use it in TradingView because you can set your own alerts, which I'm going to show you, right? In, uh, Bi in uh, Binance, you cannot really do that, but you can still uh, put the indicator right here. Um, and I can show you that actually let's start with this one I can just show it to you real quick but again I encourage you to use the trading view you can use free trading view right it doesn't uh, there is no need to pay but actually if you use the free one you're not gonna be able to set your own alerts uh, so if you want to set your own alerts you're gonna have to pay for trading view guys so the one of you who had paid trading view account you will be able to uh, set your own alerts if no you can use the free one without alerts or you can just use directly Binance. Still trading view is better, right? Because you can see these buy and sell signals that you guys saw earlier, right? Uh, here in Binance, they are not really shown, but let me just show you if you, let's just delete it. Uh, you can switch here, it's by default, it's like, it looks like this original. You can switch it to trading view if you want to. Uh, you can double click, you don't need uh, this volume for this particular uh, thing right here for this particular strategy you can go to 15 minutes time frames let's say you can change to different time frame if you want to right but always first back test it to see how it performs right then you ha just have to click right here indicators and then just type super trend and add it two times to your chart right two times the first uh, the first indicator we're gonna use it by default with the settings that are by default 10 3 the second one you just have to click right here format and change the length to 30 and the factor to 9 right and just hit ok and now you have it right let me show it to you now on trading view as well and I'm gonna give you uh, the criteria for entry and everything it's very simple guys so first let's go here this is trading view Let's go here to indicators and strategies and let's type super trend. Now you're gonna see that there are plenty of indicators super trend. I encourage you to use this, the first one by Kivang. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this second name, right? With 23,000 uh, likes. So just click two times, right? Again, guys, we need it two times on our chart in order to have an, a what, guys? In order to have an edge, right? I will program you to always search for an edge, right? You must always have an edge, guys. Now, the first one is going to be by default, 10, 3, right? The settings. The second one, you're just going to click on settings. You are going to inputs and then change the ATR period to 30 and the ATR multiplier to 9 and then just hit OK, right? This is the first thing that you have to do. Now we have to adjust it a little bit, right? This is why I love trading view a lot more because you can do some adjustments on Binance. Uh, they are not letting you to do anything, right? It just looks like a mess. So in trading view, it looks like it looks a lot more nicer, right? So just hit to first. Let me see. Okay, this is the uh, one that is gonna be for the confirmation. 
you just click to settings right here on the one that is with the 39 settings right 30 and then 9 uh, just click on it click on the settings and now go to style right and let me show you what you have to do you just need uptrend and downtrend right everything else guys you can hide so you are not getting confused especially the one of you who are beginners you absolutely have to do that guys just hide everything just keep uptrend and downtrend everything else you can just disable or let me see uh, this one is okay this one is okay and you we can actually make this a little bit brighter like this and then this one also okay that's how it's supposed to look like and then just hit okay now go to the other one which is uh, the one that is by default and just hide everything other than the buy and the sell signals guys here you can hide everything just leave the buy and the sell signals then just hit ok and you are ready to go guys this is the setup right it is very simple so now the criteria guys the criteria are again very simple when you see this green right and this green background here it means that you are in an uptrend so you are only looking for longs right now guys pay attention here because it's very important the uh, super trend indicator is giving you all the time signals to buy and sell when you are in an up this you consider with this when you see this green line and this uh, green background you consider this an uptrend on this time frame right so while, while you are in an uptrend you are going to take only buy signals right and the opposite is when it's red when it's red you consider it a downtrend so you are going to take only sell signals again guys this is the age right this is part of the age so remember that it's very important to do that not just to go out there to start buying in a downtrend right you see these buy signals they are not really playing out here why because you are in a downtrend right and you see this nice sell signal here bam and here another one nice bam why because you are in a downtrend so your chances of success are much higher when you short in a downtrend right you 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 gotta be getting these things guys right you must always think in that for that type of stuff how can you increase your chances of success right so this is it basically this is very simple guys the uh, this super trend indicator let's just look at this short signal because it's beautiful it is telling you exactly when to sell so when it gives you a sell signal just like this right here you are going to short right of course always risk management right i have plenty of videos i have a, a free course you can go ahead and watch my free training and at the end you're gonna get a, a free course which is worth 99 dollars you're gonna get it for free which is about risk management right go ahead and do that in order to learn risk management because if you trade this strategy without risk management you're not really gonna succeed guys you can lose all your money also stop losses always make sure that you always place your stop losses so risk management and stop losses this is a must right and also to go ahead and back test it to see how it performs right this is also a must now i'm gonna give you something else i'm gonna give you another uh some something additional in order for you to decide which coin to trade right but these are the criteria basically when you get a sell signal in a downtrend you are going short right if you don't know how to short i have plenty of videos on youtube teaching that on binance right so you can go ahead and check my youtube channel and check my videos how to short bitcoin and cryptocurrencies right on binance this is about shorting uh when you are in an uptrend right like this here in an uptrend and you get a buy signal you're gonna buy and when you get an exit signal so basically this is your entry right here this is your exit when you get the exit signal the sell signal in an uptrend you you are going to sell if you are in a long if you are not in a long you're gonna ignore this signal guys very important again you remember we ignore the sell signals in an uptrend we're just gonna uh, use it if we are in a long in order to exit to take profits right to close the trade the long trade and that's it very simple how do you set alerts if you just right click this or if you just click right here add alert on super trend super trend super trend buy you can say place alert for super trend buy and super trend sell right once per bar close this is how you're gonna set your alerts once per bar close and then here 
uh, open-ended if you are using premium trading view account notify on up don't worry about this one right this one should not be enabled for you and you just create the alert you can create one one alert for buy and one alert for sell right so you don't have to be looking at the chart right you can be doing something else and whenever you get the alert you just exit the trade or enter the trade right very simple stuff guys but again in order to be using these alerts you need a premium trading view or at least the pro plus right the pro plus it has 30 alerts and i'm gonna leave the link in the description to uh to, to for you to register affiliate link if you want to register in trading view you're gonna receive like up to 30 dollars or something like that if you use this link right if you don't have trading view and you buy account right you can do that absolutely uh, and again pro plus i believe they, they have 30 alerts uh, premium they have like up to 400 alerts i'm using the premium trading view because i have plenty of of alerts that i have to to be placing right i don't trade this particular strategy right i trade only with my indicator let me just show it to you real quick for the one of you who don't know i have my own custom indicator right here uh that is giving again signals to enter and exit is showing where the stop loss is it's basically doing all the work i just have to execute right so if you are interested in that again go ahead and watch this free training the link for this free training is in the description of this video right so you can go ahead and watch it you can find it on my website bobbb.com right this is my website bobbb.com you can find the free training let me just show you if you cannot find it on youtube if you just click right here free training you can go ahead and watch it it's an amazing training right that you can watch and you're gonna learn more about the way that i personally trade right you're gonna learn more my trading is very passive i trade only for my smartphone i spend very little time right maybe an hour or two per month so i consider this a passive income but yes this is for this strategy guys right very simple stuff again just to summarize you're gonna you already know how to uh do the setup right after you do the setup in a downtrend you consider this in a downtrend when it's red you are only taking short signals right you're only entering shorts and when you get a buy signal you are gonna exit your short right in an uptrend uh, you are only buying and when you get a sell signal you are going to sell you're not gonna short and this is it now the next thing that is very important guys is how to pick a coin right because if you just go out there and and start uh, trading randomly especially on this very low time frame if you start taking some random trades uh, you very likely are not going to make it right because it's a very low time frame and uh, it might be going sideways like this and you might have a lot of losses right so the next thing that i'm going to show you here is this trading room scanner right so for this one i'm gonna leave let me just put a note here not to forget to put the links in the description i'm gonna put the link in the description of this video for this scanner as well even if i don't put the link and you type in google trading room app right here the second one that is shown in google is this scanner that you guys need actually this is even perfect because i'm going to show you how to set it set up this one from scratch as well this is how it's going to look like when you open it at first now what you have to do first here is to change to all it might be by the way it might be to btc to usdt or if you want to trade only usdt pairs you can just change it to usdt for example right uh, then what you have to do actually you have to go to the rsi scanner so you see this is for price action scanner you have to go to the rsi scanner right right Cl click right here and then these are some time frames here guys five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour four hour six hour so what you're gonna do is you see this six hour you're gonna be looking at the six hour now the criteria here is very simple guys you need rsi above 70 on a six hour chart very simple right how do you scan for that just click here click one time and it's going to show you basically from uh like the lowest rsi if you click it one more time it's going to show you the highest rsi so we have here three uh coins that are good right now to be trading on this 15 minutes time frame for example right because the rsi is very high so there is volatility there are movements right so let's on the six hour here let's check these coins right so first this one asr usdt whatever this is 
let me just change this I don't want to mess up my list here ASR USDT okay let's actually add the three of the coins and see what's going on there OG USDT OG USDT and then the last one is data USDT and we can actually add let me see here these are 69 so we can add these two coins as well GUV because it's like 69 70 is very close ACM USD okay guys perfect now we have here five coins and let's see what is going on again trading room scanner the link is gonna be in the description trading room app go to the RSI scanner and scan the six hour time frame for RSI above the 70 level or at the 70 level right 69 is okay too then add this coin to you these coins to your list and let's see what's going on for these coins first one guys beautiful right beautiful trade right here so currently the first thing that you have to be noticing guys is that we are in an uptrend so in an uptrend we are taking only what signals guys buy signals right in an uptrend only buy signals so you enter right here this trade bam right here and you are still in because there is no yet uh, um, sales signal right so 45 percent profit guys at that point 45 percent profit now let's go to the next coin and the next coin it gave you signal right here to enter and it's up already 30 percent right this coin is already up 30 percent uh, and again you see in an uptrend we are ignoring sell signals and we take only the buy signals let's check at this coin this coin it gave an entry right here then an exit right here for 24 percent and then it gave another entry right here and currently you are a little bit down on this trade right but you are still in then let's check this one this one is giving plenty of signals and again during this uptrend we are taking only buy signals so a little a small loss here this one is kind of break even trade right here or a small loss then another break even trade right here and then another one which actually is just from this morning and it's up already eight percent and then let's check this one it gave signal right here and you are still in this trade okay so this is for buy signals right this is for longs now for shorts uh, you just what you're gonna do is you are going to still use this scanner but you are just going to scroll down and to find some coins that are that has RSI below 20 right which currently for the USDT pairs there is nothing like this right this is 24 so we can actually look at this pair me M I R USD okay so this is a good coin to be shorting right now guys you see it gave you signal right here to enter a short and it's up already 3% on this short right so this is it guys again very simple strategy very very simple one if something is not clear you can watch this video again right but by that point everything should be clear for you uh, you know how to do the setup right uh, you know what is the age you know how to use the scanner when you are going when you want to trade longs you're gonna scan for rsi uh, above the, the 70 level right when you want to take shorts you're gonna sky for scan for rsi below the 20 level right you can pick here whatever pairs you want to be trading usdt or btc pairs right and then you're just gonna open your binance and execute everything there so that's it guys very very simple stuff now make sure that you uh, like this video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and make sure that you comment right and always guys whatever you comment on my channel include your usdt address in your comment because i'm doing giveaways where i'm sending uh, money 
free money to you, my YouTube subscribers, right? So make sure that, that you guys uh, always comment and include your USDT address. And uh, make sure that you go ahead and watch this free training. It is brilliant. It is brilliant, guys. A lot of surprises in this free training. You're gonna learn a lot of things. You're gonna have a lot of insights. It's it, it is just an amazing experience. 